Hey everybody, I'm going to do a Bible review real quick. Actually, this is going to be a compare uh, Bible reviews. Uh, this is going to be on the premium Bibles. Uh, two of your lead competitors in your premium Bibles is, is, for, is, is of course the Schuyler and the Allen, the R.L. Allen Bibles. And so what I have here in my hands is the personal size Quintel uh, the British Tan Goat Skin. This is New American Standard, which is the Bible version that I use. And I want to show you what you get coming out of the box. Now, this is uh, the personal size. Uh, like I said, they make two other ones. They make the Standard, and they make a Thin Line uh, Bible. Also, uh, they make different translations. Uh, English Standard Version, uh, New Living Translation, NIV. Um, seems like there may be another, of course, King James Version and the NSAB version, NASB version. Be good if I could talk. But anyways, this is the Skylar. This is the personal size, so it's going to be small. It's about five inches by seven inches by inch. And this, of course, is your Allen New American Standard. This is your Readers, and I have a review on this one as well. Uh, by itself and I also have a review of a thin line but I actually got rid of the thin line Schuyler so I'm going to do the comparison of the personal size so let me get these unboxed first of all when you get these and you unbox them it comes with a little piece of paper that tells you about Schuyler Bibles and this is where you can actually pick these up at if you go to evangelicalbibles.com you can find these there. And so it comes with that. Now your premium Bibles are going to come with paper wrapped. As you can see, I'll stick that over there. It comes wrapped both ways. Now this is, like I said, the personal size Quintel. This is about the size, as you can see, this is just a little notebook, uh, like a little journaling notebook, side by side they're pretty much the same size. I mean, if you, you carry these around with you, uh, this, this type of Bible, uh, this type of, uh, journaling book here is a, uh, five by seven as well. But anyways, what I want to show you about these is they're, they're just like, uh, the large ones in that they have hubs on the spine. They have the gold imprinting, Holy Bible, Schuyler, uh, New American Standard Bible and what sets these apart and, and this is really what I want to talk about is these uh, are, are very much different than an Allen. These are perimeter stitched. You probably can't see it but right through here it does have stitching all the way around the perimeter. It has the Jerusalem cross imprinted, ghost imprinted on the front there. All of your Schuyler Bibles do have that. When you open it up you can see that it has a goat skin liner on the inside, and it says here goat skin uh, leather cover. Um, it's got your little gold lining, tooling lines around it, and it is edge lined. Now, what that is, is of course the actual binding. We can get in here in the light, you can see here the leather actually goes up into this first page, and they glue that together so it doesn't create a weak point right here. Uh, you know, if you buy a Bible and it's genuine leather or uh, it's a glued binding, a, a glued block, and it's not Smith sewn, it's going to break right there more than likely. So that's one of the things. Almost all of your premium Bibles are going to be edge lined here. Now, in this one, of course, it has your presentation page. All of that tells you about it. Um, this one, of course, is the uh, is the 95 uh, update of the New American Standard Bible. But one thing that this one does have is it does have great, great size ribbons. This is the 3 8 inch ribbons. It comes with two of them. The larger ones are going to have three, and that's important because the, the Allen has three. Um, this one is gold gilded, and it's also art gilded. You can see here that when you open it up you can see here kind of sort of maybe here on the edge it does have that salmon 
coloration. It might look gold in the video, but it's actually, when you open it up, it is salmon. It's like a pinkish color. Now, uh, this is the same text block you're going to find in the large ones. It's double column format. Your references are on the bottom. Uh, and it has your maps and a couple of blank pages in the back. This one does have white headbands. You can see right here and tail bands. Now, so you say, why, why am I doing this review? Well, because there's very vast differences. You know, when I first started looking into the various different Bibles, there, I didn't know what the differences was. Oh, another thing about this one before I get started on the other one is the yap. It doesn't have but maybe kind of a semi-yap. Uh, there's a lot of differences in these Bibles. Now, this is an Allen. Now, you can go and, and look at this other uh, this this Bible by itself, its review. Uh, what I just did was going to be the review for the personal size Quintel. And you can see the, the very big difference in this Bible versus this one. This is a hand-sized Bible. Okay, this is great to carry around. Like I said, they make bigger ones. They make one that is actually the exact same size as this one. It's the thin tail. So in case you're interested in that. Now, what's the differences? Well, the Allen doesn't have any imprintation on the front. The Allen has tooled ribs versus this one actually has rib ribs. I mean, these are these are raised. Uh, there's there's a piece underneath there. This one's just done in a tool. They they take and tool the leather, much like this one has got a tool mark around the outside where the yap goes around where this one does not have a tool line because it is sewn. It's got stitching around the outside perimeter. So that's one of the differences. Uh, this one, of course, this is a silver line edition, so it's going to have silver gilding, silver, silver imprints on the outside. Uh, as far as the inside, uh, this one, as you can see here, has a leather liner just like this one, but this one is paste down. The liner itself is actually glued down here along this, this gold or this silver uh, tool marking line. So that's one of the vast differences. What's the difference? You see here, this one is glued. This one has got stitching. It's stitched around. I actually think that the stitching looks better and will hold better than the glue. And that's just my opinion. So the difference is, of course, this is, this is their own personal Quintel text block. This one uses the Lockman Foundation's large print ultra thin text block in the side with the reference in the center. It's the center column references. So that's another one of the differences. Uh, the Allen comes with, there's various different ones. Um, to my knowledge, right off the top of my head, I, I'm pretty sure they had a single column reference uh, that was like the Lockman Foundation's side column reference uh it's the same text block single column references on the right side uh of course the esv there's various different ones various different text blocks you can get the binding is really what you're going to get here uh, with the allen just like the other one it is edge lined the leather comes all the way you can kind of see it right there in the light the, le the leather comes all the way up to there and these are made to last as you can, if you have this in your hand, you can look here and see that the leather lining here goes into the block here. Uh, so this is some of the things, some of the various differences. Uh, this one actually has a better yap on it than what this one did. I wish that Skylar, I love these Skylar models and I really like this, this personal size one. Um, I think that the thin lines were too thick. And that's one of the reasons why I don't like this one either. I have one of the first editions that were thinner, more like a thin line Bible. Uh, and as you can see here, these are exactly, uh, let me see if I can get it here, exactly the same size. There's about inch, inch and a quarter maybe, something like that. Uh, and so really and truthfully, it, it, they're not really what I would consider a thin line Bible. Uh, you know, a one inch or less is what I would consider to be a thin line, but I don't mind that in this personal size 
uh, Bible. Also, this one, I forgot to mention, this one here also, let me get back out of the box. This one, you can see the art gilding on this one. See that blue? Uh, that's the same way this one is when you open it up. It's, it's a salmon color, but when they're shut, of course, this one's silver and this one's gold. So that's some of the differences. Uh, like I said, when I first started getting into looking at premium Bibles, I didn't know what the differences was. Uh, these Bibles are going to run you well into $150 to $200. just depends on which one that you look at, which size you want. Uh, this Bible right here, uh, new on the website, I think is summers around... $175. This is just for the personal size. But I will say this about premium Bibles. You may say, well, I wouldn't want to pay that for a Bible. Absolutely. I can positively understand that. But my friends, it's just like anything else. You get what you pay for. If you want a Bible that's going to last you a lifetime, you can buy one now, or you can buy a cheap bonded leather, genuine leather Bible and it'll last you possibly six, seven, eight years if you use it a lot, and it'll fall apart. Uh, the choice is yours, whatever your preference is. Uh, I've never had a Bible that lasted me over five years that wasn't a premium because I actually have to use uh, my Bibles for sermon preparation, uh, for personal study, whatsoever it may be. But this one right here is one that I'm going to actually personally use. This is going to be one that I carry around with me uh, during the day, to read and study out of. Uh, another thing real quick, and I forgot to mention this, this one is paragraph format, so it's not verse by verse, which is one thing if you're a preacher, you're gonna want a verse by verse format. Paragraph format's great for reading, but when you're trying to find each individual uh, verse, when you're, when you're preaching, you're gonna get lost in this. Paragraph format's great for study, great for reading, that's why I have this one. Uh, and then I also have the other, the Allen, to do verse by verse. And so that's another one of the differences I forgot to mention. But anyways, those are the two. Hope you like these videos. Hopefully you get something out of this. Uh, I've got several more uh, Bible reviews coming up over the next few days. Mostly New Living Translation. So make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I also have a giveaway if you've not seen that. Uh, scroll down through the videos and you should find that for the month of June 2018 and I'll see you next time. Thanks.